hi guys happy new year welcome to 2019 i know i know i've been gone for so long but i have been posting on instagram and my stories and i'm back to youtube for regular posting let's just say that this video is about my 2018 independence day look i tend to do one every year so i'm going to just talk you through them and just let you know what inspired this look and how we came about it now in 2014 my look was shot at fun factory i just wore a nice green and white fitted dress that i got for five pounds at a random shop in nottingham posted some flags and i had a green and white bow in my hair i wore green and white a lot that month and took this picture at church in this lime and white dress in 2015 it was shot by me okay woe with some nigerian flags at clara sense in ikoyi you can probably actually plagiarize these pictures and use them for their independence day campaign smh in 2016 my pictures were shot by kabeni we had been talking on instagram about a collaboration and just happened to bump into each other at an event at oriental hotel i had my forest green jacket in the car and a nice white top so we ended up shooting this with his small like mirrorless camera awesome right in 2017 look has got to be one of my favorite shoots ever it was inspired by the hairstyle which is synonymous with people in the northern region of nigeria nigeria is a country with over 150 million people it's so diverse there's a wide variety of cultures and languages and beliefs and traditions so this one was for the northern region my outfit was gotten from the arts and craft market in Abuja, like sometime in 2014. Um, Yanga Beauty did my makeup and she did an awesome job. The video was shot and edited by Bemi Osudeko of Osudeko Media. And the pictures were taken by Bobo Iso. And it was just an amazing shoot because everything just came together very, very nicely. The beads, the styling, the location. We even wanted to go to the market to shoot, but there was no time. So we just shot outside Yanga Beauty's office perfect right now 2018 i sort of took a page off the book of 2017 i was like you know what i want to do something that is inspired by like a nigerian state like another state that i'm not used to hence why i went with this um edo ibo look now because i came up with this idea at the last minute i came up with it on like friday saturday morning um, at like 2 a.m. and the shoot happened on Sunday. So I used someone new for my hair. Her name is Precious and her Instagram is a crown appeal. I met her at like an event a few weeks before this day and she just told me she loved my hair giving her um, styling videos which I'll insert or link to. So I thought of her when my usual girl wasn't available and she did an awesome job. You can see my hair is in a pretty scrappy state. Um, but she sectioned it into four, sprayed it with um, just plain old water in a spray bottle just to add moisture to it and make it easy to manage. Um, natural hair, forcey hair in particular, loves water. So if your hair is like feeling dry or like crackly, water is your friend. Can you see how the curls are like popping now? Like you can actually see them. And I know my hairline doesn't look so great at the moment, but just watch till the end and you'll see the magic that was done. She's using the ORS Olive Oil Lotion as a leave-in um, just to hydrate the hair even more and prepare it for what is to come. My favorite leave-in conditioner is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In. But this one sort of like gives a similar result in terms of how my hair feels after it's applied. She's distributing the product evenly with a white tooth Home. and this is also like a form of detangling just preparing the hair for the puff we're about to do this olive oil ORS lotion is really affordable probably like 1k or 1.5 in Nigeria is everywhere and they sell it in England as well I like boost for like four pounds and all these shops like Parks and Co have it it's really popular she's spraying my hair one more time with the um water and from my experience I found that hair that is more moisturized is easier to slick down like the edges get laid easier once it has some moisture in it she's twisted the hair in this section just so it remains stretched before she packs it into a puff 
um, now people do it in different ways some people put the gel before packing the hair some people put the gel after packing the hair um, she put the gel after packing the hair in the hair giving hair videos the gel was put before packing the hair some people do both I personally prefer both but definitely let me know which one you prefer so she's brushing the hair in place and then she's tying it up with um, some hair bands and then she's putting eco styler gel now we use the black seed and castor oil version i also like the argan oil version and the um protein version that's in the black tub with the white cover she's using some bobby pins just to secure the hair in place because you don't want any strand of hair flying out she's using a rag tail comb to apply the eco styler gently and she's putting it all around the hair some people only put gel in front but it needs to be all around the hair because you don't want the back of your hair looking nappy and the front of your hair looking sleek she's brushing it again with the brush just to ensure that the thing enters now she's wrapping my hair with some marley hair um, I don't remember the name of the brand, but it costs like 2500 naira. I used two packs. So the hair comes like free, and then she like braided it into like one braid. She braided each hair into one braid, wrapped it around the little bun, and then clipped it in with bobby pin. I like to look at the mirror when my hair is being done. So if there are any mistakes, I spot them out. As you can see, the puff or whatever is slightly tilted to one side. And I noticed this after looking in the mirror and then it was adjusted just in time for the shoot. I think it's amazing how your hair greatly influences how you look. Like thanks to the added volume, I look a bit more mature and older and it just looks a bit more dressed up. We tied a scarf just to ensure that the gel stays. My makeup was done by Edith, who's also known as Bella Pro 31 on Instagram. I've worked with her so many times. She did like my bridesmaids makeup, my pre-wedding shoot makeup. She's done like a lot of makeup for me and my friends. And if you're looking for a makeup artist in Nigeria who's professional, affordable, um, sensible, with great customer service and a great attitude, then she's definitely someone you should get in touch with. Before every shoot, I sort of save pictures that serve as a mood board and I share with everyone that's a part of the shoot too. The photographer, the makeup artist, the hairstylist. I'm really glad everyone was able to understand the idea behind the shoot and just interpret it in their own way. I really like the green eyes. I wouldn't have thought of it, but Bella Pro did. I wasn't a huge fan of the pink lips, so I ended up changing it to nude lips. I bought all the items from Lagos Island the day before the shoot. The beads in my hair cost one five. The necklace and earring and bangle set cost two five. The George cost three five. The horse still cost seven hundred. Pictures were taken by the amazing Shutter Wave, who took my pre-wedding pictures, my wedding pictures. They had given her pictures. He's just an amazing all-round guy. Um, I hope you enjoy. Just having a glimpse slash insight into what goes on behind the scenes of the shoot. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description bar below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow myself, Shara, Crown Appeal, and Bella Pro on Instagram. Bye!